And what do you guys think of how far games have come since then, especially with, like uh, horror games like Resident Evil 6? Oh well, what I what I like about uh, the video games more so than even the intimate experience of how we play and how we're getting to interact is the interstitial storytelling has really informed how far you can push horror and how technically advanced you can take some of these things, be it action or whatnot. They're presenting in a way that is kind of tapping movies on the shoulder and saying, hey, you got to raise your game a little bit, folks. Like the video game experience is giving you that adrenaline on a more personal level when you can actually just hold this piece of plastic that might have the rumble feature on it. So when you get hit with an RPG, you, you shake a bit. It's getting us closer to that thrill of the movie and it's sustained for hours as long as you want to play until your eyes go fuzzy, your brain goes cold, and your hands are numb from the shake. Yeah, like the, the storytelling is pretty, it's, 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 it's really uh, impressive now and so just deep, deep, deep later Bioshock, yeah Bioshock is a good one, but you like, you know, we're working on the God, God of War and man what a deep mythology that has, like yes. we, you know, we had to get completely immerse ourselves in that and it's just this world within a world, you know. Um, and, 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 you know, and with games, you can do things you can't do with a movie. A movie's going to be two hours long, but the game can be as long as you want it to be and as vast as you want it to be. Sometimes it gets too big, you know, like in, some, some, in some instances. But, uh, um, yeah, it, it, though, those and, and, like, you know, like in comic books, it's just, it's, they're all sort of interconnected and just really inspirational and great. You mentioned Bioshock. Now that's been a talk to be in a movie for years since it came out. Like, what's you guys know any inside stuff on that? Uh, the last we heard about Bioshock was there was a last ditch effort to resuscitate it for a, a more modest budget, and it didn't sound as if it could be. Um, it may not have wanted to do it at that level because that's that's a pretty rated R category show, and yet it asked for this underwater city and the beautiful set design is really a, a lot of where the horror and the haunt comes from. So, I mean, I'm with everybody else and just hoping that they figure it out, because that could be a great film. I don't know more about Bioshock. We know the same. Well, actually, <laughs> we know the same, same question. When, when it comes to, like, when you're writing a script, is it is it easier to work it off your own mind, or is it easier to pull off something else? Like, by, like if you were writing a script for Bioshock, would it be easier for you to play the game and then adapt it? Well, uh, yes and no. You know, uh, yes because you have source material so that you can pull from there, um, but then that can also be limiting, limiting as well. You know, because you may want to do other things and take it in other directions, and you often can't. You know, um, but I guess you know it does, it does help to have source material often because you can. It, it's the, it's canon, and so it is what it is, and and you know you're just. You can you can solve a lot of arguments with like producers or the studios or whatever saying, but it's, that's it's the game, that's the game. And like, oh, okay, well, fine, it's the game. Let's just do that then, you know. So yeah. All right, and what's your guys? Do you guys have a favorite piece of technology and why? Well, I think the, I mean, yeah, hopefully this isn't too uh, easy of an answer, but as soon as the cell phone became my clock, my <laughs> FaceTime, my calendar, my email, my you know, notepad, um, it, it became an integral part and it just took so many elements of life and compressed it while still being that great function of just connecting. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's iPhone without a doubt, you know, like, it's funny like having this technology and then thinking like, what did we do before this, you know, <laughs> like, before, like, before the iPhone I would have said the Flowbee. <laughs> <laughs> well, but even like even like cell phones, I mean, which are relatively new, it's like you know, like we just, I, I just, you know, you and your friends meeting up somewhere was just completely established on good faith. You may show up, you may not show up, and if you don't, I won't know until tomorrow when I talk to you. Like, it seems to be kind of funny. Back in the 1900s, we had to make arrangements <laughs> to meet. <laughs> yeah, the payphone, remember? Or like, like the payphone with the collect call, where you, where you, you they know not to, not to accept it, but you'd like say like, Patrick, the stop, pick me up. Yeah. And then you'd be like, call from Patrick, the stop, pick me up. And you'd be like, I do not accept. And then they'd, hopefully they'd show up like 20 minutes later and just be waiting there. <laughs> what BS was that? 